Hi guys and welcome to the Retribution Paladin guide for 7.35. So in this video I'll be going through the single target and the AoE talents for Retribution Paladin. And yeah, I'll start off with the single target. So single target legendary is what I find the most funnest build is back, due to the fact that if you just read it, Templar's Verdict and Divine Storm increases the damage of your next Templar's Verdict or Divine Storm within 4 seconds by 15%. So obviously, just you know, you don't have to read into it that much. It's just really, really good empowering each of them. Obviously, if you don't have this, like I do now, you just want to be spamming one of them. But if you have the backs, you want to be using Templar's Verdict, and then um, and then a Divine Storm, just so that you're getting that full use out of your um, back. And the next one is the Talent Ring. The reason you want to have the Talent Ring is um, if you read it, you get Divine Purpose for free. So Divine Purpose, your holy power spending abilities have a 20% chance to make your next holy power spending ability free so obviously tied in with the back if you get a um, divine storm and then you have a divine purpose proc with the ring you can just use another templar's verdict again and if that procs again you just see it's an endless cycle of just damage increased spells hitting 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 getting refunded but yeah i'll go through the single target talents now as well so you want to take final verdict obviously it's better than execution and consecration if you read it Increase the damage done by Templar's Verdict. If you're using the back as well, it's going to be 35% increased damage and damage done by Divine Storm. It's just, you know, it's just too good. Now, um, there's been a bit of debate if Zeal or Greater Judgment's better. And now it's just shown that Greater Judgment's better, especially in Antorus. Everyone is using Greater Judgment and that's just the one I'd recommend because, you know, Zeal isn't that much of a DPS increase. Next talent you want to take is Fist of Justice. I just use this because, especially tied in with... Um, with, if you have the talent ring, you're going to be getting uh, Hammer of Wrath back off cooldown really, really quickly. So next, Virtue's Blade. Um, what you want to take is Blade of Wrath. Due to the fact that your artifacts have a chance to reset the cooldown of Blade of Justice. This is just, just much, much better. Because if, you get the, if you're lucky with the RNG, you can just be doing so many Holy Power Spenders. Especially tied in with uh, Crusade. And your haste increasing, so you're going to be hit quicker. You're just going to get loads of Blade of Wrath procs. For your next one, you want to take Just a Card's Vengeance. I take Just a Card's Vengeance due to the fact that it ties in nicely for Wake of Ashes. Wake of Ashes is a bit useless if you don't take Just a Card's Vengeance. Because when you take Wake of Ashes, you can Wake of Ashes and then instantly into a Just a Card's Vengeance. So you aren't overdoing on Holy Power. The main thing you want to do is don't overdo Holy Power. Don't go past 5 if you can. Obviously, if you have the um, Divine Purpose Ring, that's going to happen quite a bit. But it's fine because you're going to do so much damage with the um, repeated use of the spells. Next one, I always take Cavalier, just more movement speed to move around, soak stuff with my ball. So yeah, Cavalier. And next, obviously, if you don't have the Talent Ring, you want to take Crusade. Crusade is better than Divine Purpose. So, you know, if you don't have the Talent Ring, you've got to use Crusade, because it's going to increase your DPS so much. So I'll just quickly go through the rotation. So now I'll go through the rotation if you had the Legendary Cape, and then the next one is if you didn't. So I'll do it if they didn't first, because I know not a lot of people have it. So if you don't have it, you just want to be using Judgment. Blade of Wrath. As you can see, um, I'll use my Templar's Verdict. I'll use Wake of Ashes now, and then use my Just Cause Vengeance. So I use up my um, use up my five Holy Power, and I'm going to use Templar's Verdict. So you literally just want to be spamming Templar's Verdict due to the fact that um, it will just do the most damage, and you're only hitting one target. So you literally only want to be doing Templar's Verdict because that only hits one target. But as you can see, Blade of Justice is doing like it's coming off cooldown really quickly, so it's proccing pretty well. As you can see, Wake of Ashes is nearly off cooldown. So when it's off cooldown, I'm just going to quickly use a Wake of Ashes and then just cause Vengeance. So I'm using that five, um, using that five Holy Power. So now I just quickly use my just cause. So that's it for the um, for if you didn't have the cape. And now if you did have the cape, what you want to be doing is when you have the Holy Power, you want to be using Divine Storm. And then quickly after, you want to build up your Holy Power so that you can quickly use a um, Templar's Verdict, and obviously that would have uh, increased damage. And then use the Divine Swarm. So you just want to make sure you're alternating between them because it will have just increased damage. But now I'll go through the AoE um, talents and legendaries. So the thing with um, with Pallor is you can still use the, the same legendaries. So if you have them legendaries, if you have the back and the, the uh, talent ring, you're literally just sorted because you do so, so much damage even with AoE. So what you want to take is Final Verdict again, because obviously if you can see, increase the damage of Divine Storm by 10%. Just the only thing you want to be changing through this whole build 
is Divine Hammer. You want to take Divine Hammer because it's going to do so, so much more damage than um than, than Blade of Wrath. Because obviously Blade of Wrath only hits one target. So you want to be using Divine Hammer so you can hit loads of target. And obviously that generates two Holy Power. Which is going to give you so, so much more Holy Power to spend on Divine Storms and Templar's Verdict. So I'll just quickly show the AoE potential. So now if I use my hammers, already got two... Um, Two holy power, so now I'm just going to quickly use my uh, crusade and divine storm. Obviously, I had the cape, I'd have to use my Templar's verdict next. But if I don't have the cape, I'm just spamming divine storms all the time. And with the cape, you just want to be alternating between them. So try and make your wake of ashes hit all the targets, and then just Templar's uh, verdict. Now, what you pretty much want to be doing is not using just a card's vengeance and just only using your wake of ashes on your holy power spender, so your divine storm or your Templar's verdict, depending if you have the cloak or not. So just quickly use all my cooldowns. But as you can see, AoE for, for um, Rep Palas are really, really good. Especially, like, three or more targets, they're going to be the top um, top AoE melee classes. Like, they do so much damage. Especially with Divine Hammer, if you know how to use it and line it up with your Holy Power Spenders. But, yeah. That's it for Rep Palas. It's really, really fun. Single target and um, AoE. And once you've learned Rep, like, just the basics, you'll, you'll really flourish with it. And it's quite easy to play once you've got the hang of it. And, you know when your CDs come up and when Wake of Ashes comes up to when to use your Templar's Verdict. So it's just about, like, just knowing when to, you know, how to spend your Holy Power, when to use certain CDs, and stuff like that. But yeah, that's it for Rep Palette. It's pretty simple. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the video, and I'll be bringing out more guides in the future on all DPS classes, so check them out. And yeah, comment if you have any suggestions, and I'll reply.